Will Smith slapping Chris Rock has become the iconic example, but Rock isn't the first comedian to get attacked for something he said on stage. Who else cracked a joke and then got smacked? Keep watching to find out. Our list wouldn't be complete without it. On March 27, 2022, those tuning in to the 94th Academy Awards were subjected to a shocking act of violence on live television. Comedian Chris Rock made a bald joke about actress Jada Pinkett Smith, who has alopecia and has been open about her hair loss since 2018. Rock said, Jada, can't wait for G.I. Jane 2. Her husband, Will the Fresh Prince Smith, then leapt into action. The beloved actor stormed up onto the stage, bore down on a smiling, oblivious Rock, and unexpectedly smacked him in the face. It was said that the sound of the smack reverberated throughout the Dolby Theater and, indeed, the world, drowned out only by the collective gasp of those in attendance. That gasp was then drowned out by Smith, who had returned to his seat, profanely berating Rock as the comic attempted to recover from the assault. The incident that came to be known as Slapgate will certainly go down as one of the most bizarre, shocking moments in the history of live broadcasting. Scottish magician and comic Jerry Sadowitz, who made his name banging around clubs in the 80s, is a guy who really does not care who he wrangles. Sadowitz was a special breed of comedian who would pretty much say anything to get a laugh. And at the 1991 Just for Laughs Comedy Festival in Montreal, this got him into a wee bit of trouble. In a 2014 interview with the Nottingham Post, Sadowitz remembered how he opened his set in the Canadian city with a typically pleasant greeting, saying, You know what I hate about this country? Half of you speak French, and the other half, let them. Why don't you speak Indian? You might as well speak the language of the people you stole the country off of in the first place. He also profanely implied that the audience loved moose. Like, really loved moose. A member of the audience clearly took offense, climbing on stage to punch the comic. If the incident prompted Sadowitz to tone down his material, it hasn't been evident. In a 2011 conversation with The Guardian, he said, Who is to deny anybody their comedy? You can't say that one person's strand of comedy is okay to laugh at, but this person's isn't. There's a great quote that Steve Martin said when he was doing stand-up, Comedy is not pretty. Jim Jeffries is a very funny guy, and he's absolutely beloved in his home country of Australia, as his style is roughly as aggressive as the local wildlife. He's a lot of fun. <laughs> Apparently, though, there was a guy in Manchester who didn't get the memo about the comic's M.O. Jeffries described for CNN how, in 2006, he was performing at a comedy store in that city when he got into a back and forth with a heckler in the audience. It was all going like these things usually go when Jeffries decided to get on with his act and offered a parting shot. I'm gonna leave you alone now, like your dad did. Too bad your uncle didn't. This remark set off a completely different audience member, who didn't say a word before sprinting onto the stage and immediately throwing blows. He landed several on Jeffries before being dragged off the stage by audience members. After taking a few minutes backstage to make sure nothing was broken and or dislocated, Jeffries returned to the stage and picked up where he left off. He brushed off the assault with a truly sublime explanation. What many of you don't know is that I employ that bloke for when gigs are going badly. He then later wrapped up his set by saying, If you enjoyed my show and you want to see more of me, I'll be getting my head kicked in in the alleyway. Greg Fitzsimmons has a pretty deadpan style. So while the onstage assault that took place during the veteran stand-up's early years was probably terrifying to witness, it's pretty hilarious to hear him describe it, which he did for YouTuber Chris Minion in 2020. Apparently, it was singles night at a Boston comedy club where Fitzsimmons was performing, and one particularly rude fellow was not having any luck with the ladies. He decided to ease his own pain by posting up in the front row and giving Fitzsimmons the business, to which the comic responded in kind. Fitzsimmons says that when the guy ordered him to shut his mouth, he replied with one more gentle barb. Yeah, let me know when your friends get here. That's when all hell broke loose. Fitzsimmons describes how the guy jumped up on stage and rushed him with clenched fists, prompting the comic to bop him on the head with the microphone. The dude then proceeded to get Fitzsimmons in a headlock and sort of just started swinging him around. And I remember my legs were kicking tables and people were diving out of the way. And 
The bouncers finally intervened at this point and dragged the dude outside, and a brief intermission followed during which tables were righted and spilled drinks were refreshed. Then, the club's management added insult to injury by telling the comedian that he still had five minutes left to fill, sending him back up on stage to finish his set. There are brave men, and then there is Samson McCormick, who has been regularly performing at the Wind River Resort and Casino in Redding, California for more than seven years. Redding, you see, is smack in the middle of what the comedian refers to as Trump country, and McCormick happens to be black, gay, and hilarious. One evening in March 2022, the comic was doing his thing when a woman began heckling him. McCormick told the advocate, As a comedian, I'm going to heckle you back. I started teasing her about the obvious, which was that she only had about three and a half teeth in her mouth. According to witnesses, a big burly dude then leapt to the woman's defense, and the two got into a full-on brawl with McCormick the clear victor. He told the publication, I think he was shocked that this black gay guy had just beat him because he stood there like he wanted to throw a chair but thought the better of it. Then security got involved. You have to stay on your ground on those stages. The comedian declined to press charges against the guy, but he did offer a helpful bit of advice to anyone who might decide to turn comedy night into the Friday night fights in the future. It sounds corny, but I like to bring love to my audience. But don't mistake my being gay as weak because I grew up in Southeast DC and I will kick some ass. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about the latest hot topics are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.